This morning, it is too soon to give specifics on exactly what we will have to change. But the wheels are definitely in motion. I've recently chaired a number of roundtables bringing together representatives from the audiovisual industry in half of the provinces, from one end of the country to the other. There, have been, there also have been regular consultations with the Feature Film Fund working groups, an instrument that is simply indispensable to the formulation of strategies and policies that respond to the industry's needs. A number of paths for thought and change have arisen from these discussions, from your own discussions, to be honest. They deal, among other things, with subjects as varied as international development, including co-productions and networking with American filmmakers, national distribution of feature films and how to measure their success, tax credits for investors, the diversity of production genre, marketing efforts, the transition toward digital platforms, and more. Another subject up for discussion was the relaxation of rules governing participation of foreign stars in Canadian production, productions in order to counter the absence of a well-established star system, particularly in English Canada. Of course, not all of these areas for reflection involve telefilm. Some must be taken up by the industry itself. For its part, the Department of Canadian Heritage has already announced that it will be reviewing the feature film policy. And this review will certainly take into account the same observation regarding the last decade. As for us, as I have said, the status quo is no longer viable. <clears throat> for the members of the board, of a board of directors, who see themselves as responsible and acting as trustees of public funds, a decade of support for feature films represent almost $1 billion of investment. I understand that from the industry's point of view, it may not seem like enough. <laughs> but the fact is that it is a great deal of money, especially in a context where the film industry seems to lag behind other cultural sectors such as music and books. On the other hand, and very fortunately, all of this financial effort poured into our movie industry has not been in vain. It has made it possible for Canadians to emerge and hold their own with the best in the world in their respective disciplines, whether they are producers, directors, screenwriters, actors, technicians, directors of photography. It has made it possible for these people to fulfill their dreams and achieve international acclaim in their fields. Our second objective was to develop the industry's potential by increasing the proportion of funding from private or foreign sources. Here again, the results could have been better, and here again it is important to acknowledge this reality. The first observation to make is that productions are getting more and more expensive. So it takes more and more money to shoot and distribute them. Telefilm Canada funded 41 productions during its 2008-2009 fiscal year for production budgets totaling $175 million. Meanwhile, sorry about this, the charts that you see on the screen show the different funding ratios for these budgets. As you can see, Telefilm Canada provided 37% of the funding. Other governmental sources, 36%. Broadcasters, 1%. Private investors, 10%. Distributors and exporters, also 10%. And foreign partners, 7%. When we add Telefilm's investments to those from other governmental sources, Canadian producers balance almost three quarters of their budgets, 73% to be precise, with public funds. And as you can see, due to a larger number of co-productions, English language productions drew a smaller proportion of their budget, 
66%, uh, 68% from public funds, while for the French language movies, this proportion reached 77%. It should be noted, however, that although there is a greater contribution of public funds to the French language films, Telefilm's participation in French language films at 33%, is lower than in English language films at 40%. An analysis of funding sources over the last five years shows that public funds have always represented overall between 50 and 75% of production budgets. Of course, Canada is far from being the only country to support its movie industry, except the United States, India, and South Korea perhaps China, from what I'm told, most countries must protect their movie industries from the American juggernaut. Meanwhile, foreign investment has fluctuated greatly from year to year. There have been years when foreign capital represented as much as 35% of funding as it did in 2004, 2005. And in that year, public funding was only up at 48%. The conclusion isn't very difficult to imagine. With increasing production costs and government participation already at 73%, we must seriously envisage other sources of funding. Since our market is that of a small movie producing nation, we must forge more alliances with foreign partners, especially through co-productions. This will enable us to attract new funding sources and also to offer greater market possibilities to our Canadian talent.